You're watching Mustang TV News with Trevor Champion and Jessica Workman. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to another edition of Mustang TV News. I'm Jessica Workman. And I'm Trevor Champion. We all know about the efforts McCracken County High School has made to stop students from vaping on school grounds, but we're not the only ones. On Thursday, December 5th, Fayette County Public Schools unanimously voted to sue Jewel and other vaping companies. They have joined two others. Our team of reporters set out to get more information about why they're suing and how McCracken Schools Board plans to fight Jewel's and other e-cigarettes. Fayette County is the second district in Kentucky to sue Jewel and other e-cigarette companies after Bullitt County Public Schools announced that they were suing Jewel due to a dramatic increase in e-cigarette usage among teens since Jewel's hit the market. We spoke with Steve Carter, the superintendent, and Chris Taylor, a board member, on if the district has plans to deal with jewels and how they are currently affecting the district. Um, as far as the board goes, there has not currently been any kind of conversation collectively, um, all five of us having a conversation as far as uh, e-cigarettes or vaping um, um, goes. Um, I do understand that there has been a couple instances um, here at the high school, um, some issues. Um, but collectively, as a whole, all five of us have not had that discussion. The, the concern is the unknown, the fact that it can, it's passed down from person to person. Uh, very few students are able to purchase them themselves because, again, you have to be 18 to purchase. They fall under some of those guidelines. But you know, that's also why our SROs are, are writing the citations. It's not so much um, you know, the consequence of it as much as the awareness of this is a very serious issue. Uh, that we want parents and, and students to be aware of. We spoke with one of the school's Jewel ambassadors, Maddie Thompson, about her opinions on the situation. I think a big problem on the Jewel company was that they aren't concerned about how it's affecting teens. So I don't think it's going to help bring more attention to the fact that a lot of teens are getting affected. We tried to get in contact with Fayette County for an interview. However, they never got back to us. If you or someone you know has a nicotine addiction, we have links in our description to websites that will help with the addiction. Each year, the McCracken County academic team competes against several other teams from various areas. The team, which is led by its captain, Noah Ellis, has so far seen a good year with a few losses. We finished their weekly league play, quick recall league, um, undefeated. And our JV team has only had two losses, I think. With various wins under their belt, the team is going under preparations for Governor's Cup, which begins in early January. One of our McCracken County teachers, Ms. Scheidel, received the National Certified Teaching Honor. This means she is able to teach in any state in the country, and she earned a pay raise. Congratulations to Ms. Scheidel on this accomplishment. What would motivate someone to have the goal of reaching 12,000 miles a year for a cycling? Our reporter, Dagan Byers, checked out one of our students pushing the boundaries. A record of over 1,000 miles a month leading up to over 12,000 miles in one year is one way to make a trip halfway around the world. At the beginning of the year decided I wanted to set a century goal to have one century a week, 52 centuries, which is one a week, 52 weeks in a year. Every weekend I do 100 to 200 miles. Bryce Millaby is one of those goal-seeking students that had the energy and training for the challenge. I just wanted a big last hooray before I leave and a huge mile goal and accomplishment and as well as my friends have kept me motivated. He started cycling to improve health like less chances for heart attacks, diabetes, depression and even cancer. His previous accidents only make him improve to become more aware and mindful. Doing the rack ride, uh, it's called the rack because it stands for ride across uh, Kentucky. It was seven miles into the ride, a 103 mile ride. Seven miles in, I had an accident. I wasn't paying attention and I hit a speed bump, which threw me off like, and my uh, chest hit the handlebars. And I didn't have any symptoms until the very end. Bryce has also been in past Mustang sports and activities, including field and track. Eventually he decided he enjoyed the feeling of cycling and created his fitness around it. From Mustang TV News, I'm Dagan Byers. You can keep track of this progress by following Bryce on Instagram. Our school opened up the auditorium during 5th block to more than 500 students to watch the first ever The Voice of McCracken. 16 students were selected by Ms. Thompson and other judges for more than 40 video entries. On Tuesday, they sang a song of their choice in front of the judges who turned around if they wanted them on their team. Those teams are Team Dobson, Team Bobo, Team Watwood, and Team Wright. 
Singer Hope Hodges gave us insight on how she felt about the competition and their performance. When you get up on that stage and you just start to sing and do what you love to do and to hear everybody react to it and love it, that's really what makes it really special. And I'm really glad we have the chance to do it at McCracken because I think it's something that's going to continue for a while. If you missed it, the Media Club filmed the entire show and it will be out soon. Keep on the lookout for the link. The contestants will compete again in the first elimination round in January. Attention students who took makeup pictures. The school has still not received those photos yet. Once they do, your sixth hour teacher will receive those and distribute them immediately. Speaking of school pictures, don't forget to order their yearbooks. They are $50. You can speak to Miss Northington if you have any questions. Our school is participating in the Paducah Power Food Drive again this year. The drive benefits the Salvation Army, Paducah Cooperative Ministries, and Family Service Society. It started on December 2nd and will continue through December 17th. Our leadership development classes will be collecting and counting cans during fifth period. The first period class with the most cans collected will receive a Chick-fil-A breakfast. Each teacher who raises at least 50 cans will have their name placed in a drawing for $100 worth of classroom supplies. Remember, the last day to turn in cans is on December 17th, so make sure to bring in all you can. One of the most important things to a student in high school is to pay for college. And Barrett Wagner and Chesney Flynn, Coca-Cola could just do that. The largest corporation sponsored achievement based on scholarship program in the United States. The Coca-Cola Scholarship has picked two semifinalists from McCracken County High School out of more than 93,000 submitted applications to have a chance to receive a $20,000 college scholarships. We wish them the best of luck through this process. Unlike in previous years, Schedules will not be affected by finals week. Finals will only be given in the block classes, meaning students will be given the normal 90 minutes to take their tests. Whoa, I know what you're thinking. Brendan, where's your suit? You've worn a suit for like 11 episodes now. I know, it's okay. I just wanted to be informal this week. This Saturday, the swim team will travel to their first swim meet of the year at the Murray Tiger Invitational. The bowling team will host South Warren and Paducah Tillman this Saturday at Cardinal Lanes. The match begins at 10 a.m. The co-ed cheer team travels on Saturday to the KHSAA Cheer State Competition in Lexington, which is the team's first big step to making it back to the national competition at Walt Disney World this spring. The boys and girls basketball teams played Callaway on Tuesday. The girls won 58-45, and the boys followed suit and won 65-60 in a tightly contested battle. They both play a big game tonight in Marshall County. Tip-off for the girls is at 6 p.m. with the boys' game to directly follow. Then on Saturday, the basketball programs will host the Save a Life shootout in memory of Cam Chumbler. The games begin at 3 p.m. where the Lady Mustangs will play Vianna, Illinois. Then on Saturday, the basketball program will host the Save a Life shootout in memory of former Mustang Cam Chumbler. The games begin at 3 p.m. where the Lady Mustangs will play Vianna, Illinois. At 4.30 p.m., Callaway County will play Carterville, Illinois. At 6 p.m., Carlisle will play Lyon. The final game of the day is McCracken vs. Mount Vernon, which begins at 7.30 p.m. I got a chance to ask Activities Director Gino Miller about the tournament and its importance. Yeah, the, uh, the organ donor shootout um, is a tournament that uh, has a lot of significance outside just basketball. Cam Chumbler left behind a legacy not only on the court, but in the type of person he was. Cam Chalmer, who was a, uh, just an unbelievable uh, player, person, you know, courageous, the way the kid played. You couldn't help but watch him play. Cam Chumbler was an organ donor and his donation saved several lives. There will be opportunities to register to donate at the tournament on Saturday. The organ donor gives us a chance to remember him and his contributions, not only on the basketball court, but also, um, you know, as, as the person he was. A single organ donor can save up to eight people, and a single tissue donor can enhance the lives of up to 50 people. 
So please come out and register to be an organ donor and watch some exciting basketball. Have you seen Papa John? I swear, like the actual guy. It's like talking about like he ate like 40 pizzas. <laughs> Hola ladies and gentlemen, Sergey Ivanov here. It's been brought to my attention that y'all are into some weird stuff. Saturday night, it was a Sadie Hawkins dance. The one, I don't even know what in the whole world is the Sadie Hawkins dance. For all I know, it's like a cult that will like sacrifice some Best Buy employee. I really don't know. I've seen a lot of photos on Instagram and y'all already know my position on sharing photos of the dances on Instagram. I don't want to see them. I don't care. I swear it is so cold. So I've made my thoughts very clear about dances and the Sadie Hawkins dance in particular. Follow my Instagram account, Sergey Speaks. You'll know that I made a video about this very topic. The Sadie Hawkins dance is aimed after the Lil Abner comic strip character Sadie Hawkins. Sadie Hawkins dances have been criticized for their inherent heteronormativity. <laughs> Did you go to the Sadie Hawkins dance? Sadie Hawkins dance. Sadie Hawkins dance. Sadie Hawkins dance. Sadie Hawkins dance. Did you go to the Sadie Hawkins dance? No. The, no. On Saturday. No. I did not. Anyone at this table go to the Sadie Hawkins dance? Okay. We raised we raised awareness for the El Salvador trip. Please donate materials like T-shirts and flip flops to the El Salvador team. We appreciate you. No. 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 Why did you choose not to go? Because I'd rather be at home watching anime. Oh my gosh. Well, that doesn't help me too much. All right, did you go to the Sadie Hawkins dance? You first, then you. What happened there? R. Kelly, and it's like, I don't see nothing wrong with a little... What I found in doing these interviews is that apparently no one likes the Sadie Hawkins dance. The only people who seem to like it are people who are directly gaining money from the Sadie Hawkins dance. You know, it starts to frighten me when people are wearing the exact same thing to a dance in an organized location. That's sort of like Jonestown-ish. You go to the dance, they have like the Kool-Aid set out. I would like to not do that. Thank you for watching our second to last newscast of the year. If you have any suggestions, please tweet us at Mustang TV News and make sure to follow our Instagram at mustang.tv.news. From everyone here at Mustang TV, have an amazing week and we'll see you back on next Friday for our last newscast of the year. And remember, everyone matters and, and every, every moment, moment counts. counts.